over at the University of Ulster with uh, Lauren G. Sine and David McDade. Um, it's fair to say your your move to Lauren has created a bit of a stir in our league circles. Yeah, it is. Uh, well, a lot online, Twitter, stuff like that's been <laughs> really I've been getting a bit of abuse about it. But to be fair, I didn't realise I was that good at football. They might have a big deal about it. <laughs> Uh, have you been surprised by just how much reaction there's been to the, the signing? Uh, I honestly have, uh, but uh, it's probably just because, as you say, you're meant to sign for a Premiership team and you don't. Mm -hmm. So, Lawrence First Division, they're asking why. Mm -hmm. I suppose that's maybe a good place to start. You know, How did the process for your move to Lauren come about? Who first spoke to you? All that, all that sort of thing? Well, that's exactly what it was. Uh, Tainan was the first person they ring me. Uh, it was a week after the season was finished and Tainan rang me. And to be fair, he told me this whole story, what the club, where it was going. And at the time, I'll be honest, I was like, right, this is nonsense, I'm not, I'm not believing that. And I said, when I go to Mexico, I'll meet up with him. And I kept on my word, like, if I tell him I was meeting up with him, I wouldn't let him down, and I did. And that's that's where it started. Like. Mm -hmm. Were you sort of taken aback that a manager from uh, a club in the, the championship would be trying to approach you with a view to, to sign him? No, I'm not surprised, really, but I knew Tiernan from being a Glen Thorne, and I knew... I knew from because it's Jared Little's mitt, and I knew that his style of play, and I knew, I knew obviously Lauren would play football, and he told me that. Mm -hmm. But uh, no, sure, no one's better than any club, like, and I wouldn't turn, rub my nose up at anybody. Like. Mm -hmm. And then, so from Tiernan's initial approach, then obviously went on holiday and came back. How, how did things sort of develop from from there on? Well, I told him I would meet him, him and the new owner Kenny. Mm -hmm. uh, said I would meet them, and that's um, I met him on the same day as I met Linfield, mm -hmm. and I just really Kenny. Kenny blew me away with everything and showed me the plans and I just bought on what him and especially Tiernan was saying by and they were bowling the club from the bottom. Mm. Kenny's a, a difficult man to, to say no to at times, isn't he? Uh, what, what did he tell you about uh, what he has planned for the, the future of the club? No, it's just the fact that they're bowling a new stadium, bowling a new pitch, mm -hmm. bowling from the youth really the whole way up. And for someone like me who's 26 now coming 27, it's a... Uh, it's, you're going into the prime year, so if I, I was sort of want to stay at a club for a couple of years yeah. and nearly end my career somewhere, do you know what I mean? But so I'm going to stay here for mm -hmm. for a couple of years and see how it goes. Yeah. For someone who's 26 years of age, you've you've packed quite a lot into your career. For any Lauren fans who maybe don't know your background, could you just talk us through sort of where you started off and <laughs> sort of what type of success you've had along the way? I had the 20 clubs I've already had. <laughs> 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 no, obviously I started off at Derry and I stayed at Derry for what. Most of them eight years, but I was in two loan spells when I was younger. But then I went to York and went to York, come back to Derry. Went to play for Corrine, Cliftonville and Waterford and then obviously now I'm here. Mm -hmm. um, so obviously after January uh, there'll be around about 12 league games and, and one Irish Cup game or possibly more Irish Cup games. Have you set any kind of targets for yourself personally for the, the second part of the season? No, there's no targets whatsoever. It's just My target now is get fit. Get as far as I can before the I'm um, eligible to play, but uh, hopefully the boys can put on a few ones together, and you never know what happened in this league. Mm -hmm. January probably feels like quite a long time away um, at this point, but uh, you've trained with the lads a couple of times this week so far. How, how have you settled in in your first week at the club? Uh, to be fair, they've all made me feel very, very welcome. Uh, there's a lot of different personalities in that, and, and I'm a new one as well, so uh, I'll fit in nicely. Mm -hmm. And obviously you know a few of the lads from your time at Cliftonville and, and Glentoran and different things. As I, I, know, I know most of them, to be fair, apart from the foreign lads. And uh, to be fair, I've been, I've been impressed this week with the fitness and the standard compared to what I was expecting or what I've been told how bad it was. Or, mm. But I've been very impressed. Raring to get going? I can't wait to January comes. Uh, Brilliant, David. Thanks very much. No I'm coming home.